लेट सी दिस प्रॉब्लम अ कार इज मूविंग विथ ए स्पीड ऑफ वन फिफ्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड आफ्टर अप्लाइंग द ब्रेक इट विल मूव ट्वेंटी सेवन मीटर बिफोर इट स्टॉप इफ द सेम कार इज मूविंग विथ अ स्पीड ऑफ वन थर्ड ऑफ रिपोर्टेड स्पीड देन इट विल स्टॉप आफ्टर ट्रेवलिंग हाउ मच मीटर तो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इफ द वेलोसिटी ऑफ कार बिकम्स वन थर्ड ऑफ द इनिशियल वेलोसिटी then how much distance is required to for the stopping of the car so we know from the equation of motion that t square is equal to u square plus 2s but we know for the stopping we apply brake and when we apply brake there is a retardation for the car so we can write v square is equal to u square minus 2s this minus sign represent that acceleration is negative that means retardation okay so we know the car finally stop that means velocity is equal to zero so we can write so is equal to u square minus s that implies a stopping distance s is equal to u square divided by s is a stopping distance s is a stopping if acceleration is constant you can say a stopping distance is directly proportional to directly proportional to that means a stopping distance 1 divided by stopping distance 2 equal to u1 by u2 ka square that implies s1 divided by s2 s2 is given as 27 s2 and u1 by u2 2 is 1/3 of u1 that means it is Three ka square. Okay, that implies s two is equal to twenty seven by nine. This is equal to three. Okay, so if the speed of car becomes one third of the initial speed, the distance required for a stopping of the car is three meter. Okay, the concept that is being used for this problem is equation of motion v square is equal to v square minus two a s.